to the Rocco Taco Mining Channel. Hey, today I want to talk about one of the uh, services I use, the website I use for earning interest on crypto, and that is BlockFi. You probably heard of BlockFi. Let me zoom back. And uh, I have signed up for BlockFi. I have moved some crypto in there, and the main reason was to earn interest. I did have it in a uh, hardware wallet and I said it's just sitting there I can go get some interest on my stable coins my Bitcoin my ethereum Litecoin bat tokens you know they offer interest on most coins they also offer a visa card where you can earn rewards and get paid out in Bitcoin so just don't buy Bitcoin earn it uh, you can go through here's our site is blockfi.com right there blockfi.com go sign up it's easy there is a nice little link below i have signed up to get a affiliate because i do believe in it i don't just shill crap that doesn't make anyone money or is not a uh, a reliable product here's the uh, visa card you can actually sign up for it and get on the waiting list i did get it about two months ago it's awesome it comes in a nice little delivery package presentation is amazing uh the responsiveness is awesome too on support i had to uh deal with a couple questionable transactions on some businesses that weren't delivering for me so they were very very responsible and helpful so you can earn up to 3.5 percent back in bitcoin on every purchase and it gets dumped right into your account and then you know what when you get those rewards you start earning interest on those rewards it's pretty cool and you can go through all this stuff here is an interest calculator you uh, your crypto can earn up to 9.5 percent apy with a BlockFi interest account, BIA. Interest accrues daily and is paid monthly. There's no hidden fees, no minimum balances, no reason to wait. That's exactly true. I've encountered no issues. And if anything, they allow, they do allow one free transfer out of your accounts to anywhere without charging a fee. However, based on my other videos, if you've watched any of my other videos about Ethereum gas fees, the GUI, the dreaded GUI, uh, because of the dreaded GUI and the high fees of Ethereum, um, BlockFi is going to not allow f the free transfer on basically Ethereum type coins, ERC tokens, stuff like that, due to the high fee. I think the high fees of Ethereum are going to kill Ethereum. I don't know. I've been doing this since 2016, and I totally hate doing anything with Ethereum, like the Ethereum wallets, MetaMask. When I have to do that i cringe because i know that they're going to try to take you know so much in fees like i told you before my other story i was trying to move 30 bucks worth of coin only 30 bucks worth of coin uh, out of metabas to my exodus wallet and they wanted like 50 30 to 50 bucks in guay fee i'm like eth i'm like are you joking keep it eat it i said forget it it's sitting there i'm not going to deal with it um even the shib stuff I moved it on the Binance network and then had to move it back from Binance to Exodus on the ERC network and they took half of my SHIB in fees. I went, oh dear God, enough of this, I'm out. But I do have Ethermine yet and I'm waiting for my payout, which is currently the GUI. Where is the GUI? The dr I have nightmares about the GUI. Oh my God, they're coming to get me. What are we holding at? 143, about 12 bucks to move my money. No. No, I'm not, I'm not paying it. I'm going to wait. Oh, speaking of that. Oh, where's my heat map? No heat map. Okay, I broke the heat map. Okay, anyway, back. You can put in your money here. You can check which coins you got. Look at this, Litecoin. You can go through the calculator on BlockFi.com and see how much you can get in interest. It's been stable. They have lowered some of their rates on Bitcoin if you have over a certain amount, which I thought was odd. And if you had like a lot of Bitcoin, they weren't paying as much interest as other places. So I did, I will disclose that I did move out of there some of my Bitcoin, but if you have lower amounts of Bitcoin and USD coin and other coins, you get a decent amount. And also the note is on Ethereum tokens. You'll still get interest, but if you transfer them, you will not get that free transfer because blame Ethereum on the high network transaction fees. I did move to Voyager some of my stuff because they still are rock solid, giving you interest. And when I mine and whenever I get my payouts, whenever I meet the GUI threshold, my 
Ethereum is going to be moved and my Bitcoin are going to be moved into my Voyager account as well and some into my BlockFi. I want to diversify where I keep this stuff. All right, you can borrow money too. Uh, why choose Bob? You can go read all this stuff. I think it's well worth looking into. Coinbase doesn't pay you crap. Uh, you can go do little lessons and earn small bits of crypto on Coinbase. Coinbase to me is kind of the exit point to get your into fiat when you sell your crypto. Move it there and use a Coinbase Pro to pay no fees. Coinbase Pro was previously GDAX, G-D-A-X, and that's what I use to get around any fees and buying and selling crypto. So look at Coinbase Pro, sign up for that as well. That's a nice little pro tip. So here's BlockFi. Let's look at this. Uh, you can learn about their BlockFi interest accounts. Lots of information out there. And if you're always afraid, just you know, sign up. Put a small, about, a small amount in and just try it for a month and just see. You get nice reports too. They do have great reporting systems on every transaction, cost basis, and that's a nice plus. But if you keep good records, eh, I mean, it's all how good you are with keeping records. But if you're doing a lot of stuff for crypto, this might be a nice perk. I tried coin tracking. I've had trouble with it. It's just when I import stuff, it loses the cost basis. And I, I might have screwed it up, but I just, I gave up. All right. Simple and quick. Where's the other stuff I'm going to show you? That's the uh, calculator we talked about. Here's the interest rate table. Uh, let's see. You can go to BlockFi.com slash rates. That's what this is. And here's the tier level on Bitcoin interest. This is what I talk about. If you have 0 to 0 0.1, you get 4.5. Anything above that, you drop an API. And that kind of, I don't like that. I don't know why they did that. I, you know, maybe it was getting too expensive for them. So I did switch. I kept the small amount in BlockFi and moved the rest out to Voyager, where they still pay about 5.5%. Uh, but here you go. The plus of this is they have the credit card. Here's Ethereum rates, 5% on limited range. Litecoin, is there a limit? Greater than 20. Okay, yeah, they limited. So, it, interesting. Interesting to check out that they're limits. Oh, there comes that. We're back at 54,000. 4,000 on you. Things are dropping in the red again. In the red zone. Oh, my dreaded Litecoin went below 200. God, I hate Litecoin. Fucking Litecoin. <laughs> uh, there you go. This gives you an idea of what interest you can make on certain coins. Even if you have money, this is what I've learned. I had money sitting in a money market making nothing. Nothing. Based on the horrible administration we have, the, the inflation now is through the roof. And they're lying about it. It's higher than what they say it is because they're, they're munging the numbers. So it's really a lot higher. So if you have money in a money market savings account, you're losing money every second. So I saw that I can go and get uh, on USDT, USDC, uh, any stable coin. I can go out there and get at least 9%. Like here, even a Gemini coin, you get 9%. Oh my God, you can't match that on a bank. So that's an awesome thing to move. I mean, even if you don't have coin in BlockFi, you can move these stable coins in and... Um, make a decent rate and not lose your money daily sitting in fiat in some horrible bank account or some horrible money market account. That's just me. That's not financial advice. I'm, I've had no problem with it. Uh, I'd rather make money than lose money to inflation. Uh, what's going on today is just scary. So you got to definitely protect your cash. I know people dumped out of the market, put it on cash. And I went, well, you're now just losing money guaranteed. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. It's all people's money. Never tell people what to do with their money. I can only show you what I do for fun and how I play the game. And uh, not that I'm a winner by any chance. Sometimes I do tell people, do the opposite of what I do, and you might be successful. <laughs> no, it's a joke. All right. So here we go. Block, BlockFi with their interest rates. The pros. Let me show you the pros. And full disclosure, I did like the initial interest rates. I do like the free transfer now again free transfers out once a month on non-ethereum tokens because again ethereum gas fees are killing everybody even these uh crypto exchanges wallets whatever services this is the plus right here the block five credit card it's a, it's a nice solid car if you're into that aesthetics and you get 3.5 percent in bitcoin in every purchase which is up that is up it used to be i think 1.5 or something this is cool so i use it to buy my uh hardware stuff when i go buy hardware stuff for crypto mining i use this card i got my 3.5 percent back bam 
that helps. I get it back in Bitcoin. And that Bitcoin immediately starts earning interest every month. So this is the plus of BlockFi right now. The negative uh, and also the transfer is a plus on non-Ethereum tokens. And of course, the negative, like I mentioned, is this is their limits. I don't like this. I don't know why they changed it. If you have zero to zero point one, which uh, you can go figure out what is zero point one Bitcoin. Let's do this together. Zero point Google is your friend. Zero is it zero point one? BTC. Dun dun dun. Why didn't that come up? Oh, here's zero point one Bitcoin is fifty four one nine five thousand four hundred nineteen dollars. So if you have under fifty four hundred dollars, you'll get four point five percent interest. If you have over that in Bitcoin, boom, you're going to drop down to one percent. Same on Ethereum. They put a limit in Litecoin. So that is the negative. That's the con right now at BlockFi. But if you like the credit card, the free transfers, and you, if you have lower than amount, boom, I would check out BlockFi. Later on, I'll talk about Voyager. That is the other one. And of course, you all know about Coinbase. Coinbase, I don't, they don't give you anything pretty much. They're just, to me, is the, they're the portal to get into crypto. Um, into crypto in a way that if you're new to it, you know, you can move your stuff, ACH money over from your bank account and start buying crypto. Don't use your credit cards to buy crypto. Please don't do that. Don't. Just just do with money you have. You're willing to lose because you will lose it in crypto if you're not careful. You know, it's a high risk game. It's volatile and the volatility can work in your favor as well. So my point is Coinbase is probably to me the gateway to get in if you're new and out if you just want to go to um, fiat and sell but also with BlockFi you can you can sell go to US dollar and go to your bank account as well as a Voyager too so Coinbase was the first to market you could say in Gemini too but I think these other guys are coming up fast and there's something definitely to look into all right what else we're going to talk about 12 minutes let's just end this man we are at 40 uh we are at 54,000 today on the on the uh Bitcoin so I don't know the 100k is going to hit Everyone on the, like these uh, YouTube Bitcoin channels, 100, 100, 100K, 100K. And then when they start seeing it going red, they go, oh, my God, is a bear market here. Again, they're chasing the tail. You know, the, they're, chasing the, they're chasing the squirrel in the backyard. You know what I mean? Nobody knows what's going to happen. Don't listen to idiots like me on YouTube. Don't listen to anybody else on YouTube. It's your money. You're free to lose all of it. You're free to make money. It's all, you know, this is all for entertainment, man. Not financial advice because yeah, I don't tell you what to do. Don't listen to me. But anyway, if you want to try to hedge yourself, you can make interest out there and you can get rewards in, in um, credit card, which is right here. That's the pros of BlockFi. Check it out. Link below. Check out the link below because if I do get a little kickback, that goes and helps feed my little dog. And that little dog almost had a whole turkey yesterday. That little dog, he eats a lot, but he doesn't get fat. I don't get it. But anyway, this channel supports my doggy. Yeah, he eats well. That's for sure. All right, that's all I got. I'm trying to think of stuff that I do that's useful to everybody that watches these things. And if, if anything, to chronolog or um, record and log all the stuff I've done in case I lose my notes one day. So that's where I'm at. All right, thanks, man. Go forth, do great things. Be smart about your money. Do not listen to anybody. I mean that. This is all for entertainment. This is all just to say, hey, what's this guy doing? Okay. You do your own due diligence. I mean it, guys. Do not listen to other people, no matter how good they are at speaking. I suck at speaking. I just do this for fun. Uh, no matter how convincing people are, how loud they are, or how much bells and whistles they have on their YouTube channel, do not listen to anybody. Start small. Don't risk more than you're willing to lose. And take your time with it. Don't FOMO. Fear of missing out. God, do not FOMO. Please. I was guilty of that. And you know what happens when you FOMO? Boom, the, the price drops and you're left holding the bag. And you're like, I'm the guy holding the bag. Yeah, you're the fool in the room. So just take your time. Dollar cost average in if you want to play this game with anything. Dollar cost average is your friend. Compounded interest is your friend. That's all I know. All right. I'm just giving you that. I'm trying to be serious as heck on this. Don't listen to anybody. It's your money. Take this stuff and digest it and do your own research. Google's your friend. You know, use them. All right, I'm out, man. Go find this dog.